Good afternoon, my name is Anissa Bellal. I'm a senior researcher at the Center on Conflict Development and Peacebuilding as well as the, as the executive director of the Geneva Peacebuilding Platform here at the Geneva Graduate Institute. I was invited to present you uh, our book that I wrote with my dear friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Stuart Casey Maslin. Uh, my book is uh, on the additional protocols to the Geneva Conventions uh, in context. So first of all, uh, a small background on the book, why we decided to write that book. Um, this book is about the law of armed conflict and more particularly on the protocols additional to the four Geneva Conventions. These four Geneva Conventions were drafted in 1949 and 20, more than 20 years after the international community and the International Committee on the Red Cross thought it was time to draft a new treaty provisions to regulate more contemporary forms of armed conflict, um, being wars of national liberation or uh, wars that were involving armed groups or more generally to add some precision on certain norms that were already existing in the four Geneva Conventions. The International Committee of the Red Cross is the guardian of the law of armed conflict of IHL, International Humanitarian Law. And for many years, um, the ICRC has conducted different commentaries um, on the Geneva Conventions and on the additional protocols. There are also other scholars that have decided to um, write on, on those texts uh, as form of legal commentaries. So legal commentaries of uh, treaties are um, very precise form of, of, um, com of legal writing, if you want, that uh, analyze almost word by word a treaty provision. This is not what we wanted to do uh, with uh, Dr. Maslin. Uh, we wanted really to provide for um, more thematic analysis of these um, treaties that were the, the, the protocols uh, that were added to the four Geneva Conventions by providing a more co contextual approach to these treaties. It was very important, we thought, because since the, um, the 70s and then the 80s where there were some commentaries done on these two, on these, let's say, on these texts, because they are actually three protocols, um, uh, one which was added a bit later on, the third additional protocol was added um, in 2005, was the development of several other fields of law, in particular human rights law, refugee law, but also, and most importantly, uh, criminal law, that added a lot of reflection uh, on, uh, on the development of international humanitarian law. So this is why we wanted to, uh, to do this book. And we also focused on recent developments uh, that are uh, touching upon armed conflict in general and the law of armed conflict also in particular, the development of certain methods of warfare, certain weapons that are used today, in particular cyber warfare. Um, we also wanted to update uh, our thoughts and reflection on these treaties uh, when it came to the issue of counter terrorism, which is a new way to approach armed conflict that states are, um, are um, also uh, very keen on developing, sometimes for good and sometimes for bad. Um, we also added a chapter on armed non-state actors, on armed groups, because today the majority of armed conflicts actually involved armed groups rather than being uh, conflicts between states, such as the one that we are experiencing between Russia and Ukraine. And finally, we also added very contemporary uh, humanitarian issues. Uh, on, uh, uh, there is a chapter on humanitarian assistance, humanitarian relief operations, and there is a chapter on the emblem, the protective emblem, because the third additional protocol 
is on the creation of a new emblem, the Red Crystal, in addition to the Red Cross and uh, the Red Crescent. Both uh, Stuart and I have been working for many years also in, uh, on policy issues. We have been advising governments, international organizations, NGOs, and so we both brought this perspective also in this book. So it's a book uh, written by two scholars. We are indeed scholars, so it's of an, an academic level, but which also includes policy or more per perhaps political considerations. So this is what the book is about, and uh, I hope that you'll find it interesting. Um, it, is, uh, it has been published by Oxford University Press, and it's on sale, of course, um, uh, at, uh, at the, um, the website in the, in the library of Oxford University Press. It's also available here at the, at the Geneva Graduate Institute's library, uh, if you're interested in, uh, in uh, knowing more about the book.